Look at this. They don't know he's there. They're like, here he comes. Dun, 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 dun. Hog realizes, uh, oh, and he just barriers. He's like, nope. And then he charges right through. And he's like, bye-bye. Sigma's gone. <laughs> you can't make it up. Oh, yeah. There's a tank mode Genji bastion in the back line, because why not? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. This is Overanalyzed, our wonderful Overwatch community coaching series. And today... We're going to take a look at a tank player. Now, this is a... I don't think we can we even say off-tank anymore, but it's a Zarya and a Roadhog player. However, I must stress, most of this will be Roadhog play, even though our player is currently on the Zarya, although this will change, I believe, according to the information that I've been given, which is good because I really want to focus on Roadhog because I think something is going on on the ladder right now, and... Basically, if you don't have self-sustain, you die a lot. Now, I don't know whether this is because of flex queue. I don't know whether it's because we're seeing a lot of, well, I don't know, questionable DPS maybe. And maybe supports are having to absolutely bend over backwards to keep them alive. Um, but I've noticed that when I've been playing Roadhog or I've been playing Wrecking Ball because I can get to the health packs quick. That generally, I stay alive more than playing Reinhardt. I just die. I mean, that just could be because, well, there's loads of damage and it deletes Reinhardt. There's a ton of different ways of looking at it. Anyway. Roadhog is the one I want to look at, but like I said, we will start off on the Zarya. So before we get into this, let me just take a look at the email. And also, before we get into the email, remember guys, if you want to appear on this show and get some coaching, go to unitlost.com forward slash overanalyzed and submit your replays away and be as descriptive as you can in the why you want coaching section. And you can also click the link in the video description below. So the reason why we're looking at this is essentially... It says that it's it's a player that blows from hot to cold. They say they have 900 IQ plays one second, and the next second, they're just terrible. They're feeding their brains out, and they're getting killed. Also, they have a problem knowing what the hell is going on in the game. Like, they said they get confused quite a lot, which, you know, this is Overwatch. This does happen a lot. I always say this. Just taking a deep breath, taking a step back, generally makes you a better player. So, we're going to focus on Zarya to begin with. And we're kind of set up in the standard position. And by the way, this is a 2,838 rated game. This is okay, but uh, yeah, think about laser and the Genji. We're pretty much just standing in the choke here. We're bubbling our Reinhardt. There isn't really too much we can do here. Like, I'm just going to pause this. And also, I'm going to turn this off because uh, this never saves. And it's super frustrating. Come on, Blitz. Um, what's Reinhardt doing with his hammer? <laughs> See, he's not moving, but he is. I love these replay books. Okay, so yeah, the problem we've got here is our backline has been completely deleted by Genji, who is actually playing Tracer. Nice skin, by the way. Um, has killed both our supports, so we've lost this fight. There's no way we can win. Anyway, I just want to highlight this. So we see this a lot happening um, in, I guess, in Plat, Diamond, Master, maybe it happens. I don't know. But the, the idea of holding the choke here is very risky. Like, you're basically putting yourself right in front of the enemy team, and the enemy team's spawn is literally just over there. So, I mean, if they get any picks here, they can crush through you. It's actually a lot more... Uh, conservative, a lot sort of, um, how can I say this? Like a, a lot safer, I guess is the way to put this. To start off in this position here, especially if you're the tank, right? Now, obviously, we'll be giving them a lot of space. So we're going to need to make a decision to go, when I say the tank, I mean like the Reinhardt or the Orisa uh, or even the um, Sigma. But basically what's happened here is we've took the fight at the front line and we've been destroyed. Now, I presume, um, we can go back and look actually, but I presume this Tracer went around the flank. Yeah. Yeah, so this Tracer just basically flanks straight through. Our supports are completely none the wiser and they get killed. Now, it's just a good play by the Tracer. It's going to be hard to stop this unless we've got eyes on, you know, people coming over from that side. But it doesn't always happen. Yeah, so this isn't good. I, 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 I mean, so these are things as well. I've got to stress, guys, that sometimes things happen in Overwatch that we have no control over. So even we could play out of our mind here. We could have the best positioning, the best use of abilities. But we just lose because, like, this guy's took a bunch of damage. He's got a trace on him. We don't know what's going on. And then turns around and just literally one clips. I mean, that is pretty sick. One clipped uh, Anna as well. That's ridiculous. So, yeah, we're, we're basically out in the cold here. We're going to get killed. So there isn't really too much we can talk about, to be honest. You know, you're using your bubbles trying to keep yourself alive. It just doesn't matter. We're going to lose. Like, there's, there's, there's no way, right? Now, this, I guess, is where we swap hero because I was told that after the first death, we basically swapped the Roadhog. And then we play Roadhog for the reminder of the, the remainder of the game, which I hope is the case. Doesn't look to be the case. Um, maybe it's the first round then. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully Roadhog does appear fairly soon. Uh, so yeah, like... It's kind of a weird one because I'm prepped to do Roadhog on this and I'm just sort of chilling on the Zarya. I'm like, okay, let's see what's going on. Nice bubble on the Genji there, but... 
you know, we're just spamming shots. Over. We, there's not much we can do here. We just need to do... I mean, that's crazy. Why is that guy... How did he... Why is that brick there? <laughs> what? So, yeah, we, again, we've lost our back line. <laughs> Which seems to be the way of this. We, we just lose our back line over and over again. This is going to be a really fast round. Yeah, so I guess this is where we swap. If we even get time. Yeah. Oh, gone for the diva. I guess just to get back quick. So, really, there's not much we can say there. The the tracer annihilated us. Like, it absolutely annihilated our back line. Things happen, right? Unlucky. Okay, let's go forward. So, I'm. you should be on the Roadhog now. Then we can really get stuck to this. Yeah. So, the reason why I'm liking Roadhog right now is... It's debatable whether, like, Roadhog is meta. But I've got to say this. All right, guys. Um, Overwatch at the moment is suffering from a massive, massive lapse in just synergy. And people working together. Like... It seems to be a massive wave of people just doing whatever the hell they like, which has always been the case in Overwatch. But to me, it feels like it's just even crazier now. Like, I've been in games where it's super obvious that, like, the enemy team have got a ball. All we need to do, guys, is, I don't know, get Sombra to hacker, um, just have our Arissa pull the, the, the ball when he slams, or, you know, a Hog hook him or whatever. But people just completely ignore it, and they just do what they like. So this is why I think Hog makes good sense for a tank. Especially a tank focused over analyzed. All right, then. So let's get stuck into this. So, uh, nice grenade there off there, Anna, which hit most of our team, which isn't lucky. Give her a bunch of ult charge. And uh, yeah, okay. So we're going for a hook first. So, there's a few things we've got to talk about here with this. Now, there's windows of opportunity. And Hog, if you land a hook, you absolutely, it's just massively powerful. This is one of the reasons as well why I really, really like Hog on the ladder. I mean, you can effectively probably just solo Hog, like just literally one trick Hog all the way up to, like, master and above. I don't recommend that, because obviously you should also try and look to fill gaps in your team. Like, if we've got a, you know, like, um, I don't know, if, let's say, well, we've got a Reinhardt space. We could use this as an example, although Hog works okay with this. We could maybe take the Zarya for the bit of obvious synergy there with the bubbles and stuff. But Hog, you can do a lot of damage with if you're playing the ladder Hog, which is not particularly the team Hog. It's the Hog that's doing stuff on the flanks. It's the Hog that's looking for any kind of cheeky opportunity to secure a kill because that's what Hog does. You have to realize Hog is the quintessential tank securing killer, basically. Or he's the tank that secures the kills. You get the hook, you get the kill, right? Most of the time. So look for opportunities. Now, we have wasted our hook here. We just literally yeeted it. I mean, let's watch it again. We yeeted it straight into the corner because it'll make you feel really stupid when you look at this. We walk around the corner, throw it straight into the enemy's barrier. And for what? We don't get anything from this. Watch this. Let's slow. Oh, let's go a bit quicker. Right. We literally throw the hook. In fact, it didn't even have his barrier up, but we... And this also makes me laugh. Oh, no, it corrected. Sometimes on the replay viewer, the barrier stays really small. Um, so, yeah, we throw our hook, we miss. I'm going to say it was worth a go, um, but the point I was trying to make is looking for opportunities, looking for when we can hook, right? Let's go back on board with you, and let's focus on hooks for a second. So I don't want you to just blow it immediately off cooldown, because there's going to be times where we can hook stuff. So, there was a massively good opportunity there that we completely wasted, right? Did you see it? i seen it, and I bet most of you guys seen that as well. Watch this. You basically woke up the Reinhardt before hooking him when you could have hooked him. Watch this. Let's slow this right down, right? Watch what happens here, because I'm pretty convinced here that it was your damage that woke up that Reinhardt. He's asleep. Our hook is two seconds off. Look at that. Well, we, we don't need to do that. This is bad. See, this is the thing with Overwatch, right? little things make a massive difference. Think about this, right? Think about what could happen. If you hadn't fired this at the at the, at the Reinhardt and woke him up, did that even wake him up? Okay, I apologize. That missed him. It looks like Anna naded him. Okay, I completely apologize. But it looked in, in, in live play that it was your alternate fire that did that. So it was Anna. But the fact remains, before he even wakes up, do we have Hook available? No. Now we do, but he's going to shield... Yeah. Okay, so I was overly harsh on you there. But the point I was trying to make is, even firing at him was kind of dangerous, right? We should have just waited and immediately hooked him and pulled him way out of position because then he'd be here in our face and maybe we could do something about it. Okay, there's a May wall. Okay, we're sectioned off. You know, we've got our Anna. It's not going to be ideal. But there was options there for us to try and take advantage. You're going to go for the hook. Don't really get it. Heal our south up, which is fine. And Ryan Hot's going in. Okay, we could not have hooked that, but we should hook it. Okay, okay, okay. I was going to say, you, you, a, a charging Reinhardt, you hook it if you can. Okay, we're, we're going into a fight here with no health. This is very worrying, right? 
we die now? Which we should do. Yeah. So why did we do that? Like, look where our team is there, right? All we had to do is back off, but we didn't. We went forward for some reason, and I don't get that. And we see this a lot. Like, I see this all the time, especially with Platinum overanalyzed, where this goes back to what you actually said in your email. You make a 900 IQ play, although I haven't really seen any 900 IQ plays, but you make a good play, and then what you just walk into the enemy team like why do you do that like if we go back and watch this now again you'll see how crazy this is i know we're focusing a lot on this guys but you know what i've had a lot of frustrating 2cp games i'm taking it out on this replay right so great immortality field there keeps i think uh tank alive hopefully they heal him up and he doesn't die yeah so we get the kill here right now look at what we do like i don't know why we run into this like why why do we run into this so a good wall comes in um genji on the Oh dear, Did you, oh dear me. Appears to have just turned around and destroyed our trace, which isn't good for us. Um, but watch this. Watch this play out, right? So that Genji in the bat line, we are... You know what? I think this is just straight up, you don't know what's going on. I think you just want to go into the enemy team, and I don't know why. Like, our whole team have ran off there, which is a bit mad to chase the Genji down, I do agree. But, like, you should know they've gone over there. And then we die. Like, that is super annoying. It's really annoying. We should have just backed off with the team there, really. But... And Reinhardt's dead as well. No, maybe he survives. He should survive, actually. Yeah, that's that's super annoying, that is. So we've just seen, like, basically complete non-awareness of what's going on. And just walked into the enemy and fed our brains out again. So we're still... It's difficult at the moment to see anything which is usable. Okay, we're going to hook this. Okay, I don't know how we missed all those guys there. But we might have got one. But now look at the kill feed. Super simple. No, we don't go forward. At no point do we go forward there. We always go backwards. Because they are chasing hard, right? We've just got to keep running. Keep running. Fine. Maze walled us off, but whatever. We're safe. Right? And we've got our Anna alive and we're fine. We can see that Reinhardt's hammer through the wall. <laughs> Blizzard. Good job, Blizzard. Well done, Bliss. Well done, Bliss. Like, very stealthy there. Very stealthy. Uh, Hangzhou spark hammer through the wall. Like, Hog's like, what the hell is this? He's like, what's this? Look at him, look at him. He's like, they're in there, they're in there. I'm going to get him. I mean, that is actually, that is bullshit. Blizzard, what have you done? Thought that. He was going for a big play. Okay, so now we've killed the tank. This means it's go time, right? This means we're going. We're going to look for hooks because we can basically hook everybody here. The only thing that can stop us is a bubble or if we get a wall in our face. But we should just be able to throw the hook into groups of people. Uh, see, again, we've gone for this like close range hook. On, on that. Like, it doesn't matter. Just run up to her and just shoot her in the head, right? If you land the hook, it's fine. And we're going to need support here because she's going to do quite a bit of damage. So she shouldn't kill us. Oh, she's going to... Yeah, good kill. Good kill. You know, it, and then we could have had hook and then we throw it out a bit earlier. But I think we're fine anyway. Your accuracy seems fine as well. And you're also using, obviously, primary fire at point blank range. Okay, nice hook. Nice, nice. Good reaction. But you see, that was really bad off that Reinhardt. There's no way he was going to make anything happen there. He was charging to his death, but it's still a good reaction. There are, there are these windows, right? Again, we look for. Reinhardt charging. We're just going to hook him if Hook's available. When Reinhardt goes for an Earth... Uh, not an Earth Shatter. But if he does go for an Earth Shatter, sometimes you can hook him. But they need to be quite close. Um, if he goes for a Fire Strike, you can basically immediately throw your Hook as he Fire Strikes. Because his shield will go down, and then you can pull him in. That's super powerful, right? There's also stuff like when you look at Sigma and you see him doing suck. You're going to hook him, right? Because a lot of Sigmas get a full sense of security where they're like, oh, you know, I'm fine, I'm sucking. Yeah, you might be, but the hook goes through that and it's game over for you, right? Trying to hook like Genjis and stuff like that, it's always going to be difficult. We're waiting for him, unlucky. Nearly got the mercy there. Okay, let's see what we're trying to do here. So this thing, I don't, I honestly don't really like this of Roadhog players where they spam right click or alternate fire. Oh, this is a blade. We sh yes, good reaction. Hmm. Still might not be enough, but it was... That's fine. That's look, Honestly, that's fine. That is totally fine. I don't mind that. Because Genji Blade, and that was a nano-bladed Genji, could, anything could happen, right? That could go into our backline. It could annihilate people. The best thing to mess up the Genji is to knock him about. So, Aris is great for this, because when he pulls out his blade, you just basically suck him. It screws up his momentum. Or Roadhog, when you got your ultimate, again, it's fine. So, that's totally fine. Don't worry about that. That's a great reaction. If you see a nano-bladed Genji, we're going to hit that straight away with our ulti. And again, this comes back to... Let's just pause this a sec. In fact, we lose this fight, but let's just pause this. So, this comes back to the idea again of um, tracking enemy ultimates, right? So, we would have expected Genji to have his blade available. Most likely. And Anna, okay. But we're waiting for that, and, and we've got our ultimate ready, and we're literally just waiting for him to blade, and then we're going to try and counter it. Because Roadhog's ult, it can do a lot of damage if you push people into corners, but 
and also pull them off payloads as well. It's very good for that, especially in overtime. Um, but using it to counter Genji Bait is super good. All right, then. Let's see what we're doing. So, again, we're going for the high ground. Straight into the Bastion. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, we can't solo a Bastion. <laughs> That's got a mercy pocket. And again, if I just pause, look at this, right? Where's our team? Like, this, again, comes back to the whole idea where we are not anywhere with our team. And as I'm watching this through, it's kind of giving me anxiety. Uh, anxiety, even, if I could talk. Where, like, you're never really with your team. Like, you, you just went up there. You're like, yeah, I'm going in, boys. Yeah. Uh... I'm dead. I, I mean, you should be with your team here. You should be playing with your Reinhardt. You should be, this guy's coming in with his barrier. You know, we can right click or alternate fire into this barrier and eat it alive. It's going to give our Reinhardt the advantage. In fact, we've got a Junkrat and you spamming into this barrier. It is gone, right? And this means that when it's gone, well, we can hook through it as well. So there's a lot of things that we could do in this game. And yet we seem to just be rushing in head first and we're just getting bodied over and over again. And it is really frustrating to watch. But I think it's just a, it's just a symptom of. Okay, nice hook. Okay, and again we get the combo. Nice right click as well. That was kind of on the sweet spot range as well. Yeah, so this is fine spamming into this, and we're looking for a hook now. Like just really. Okay, we didn't. What was that hook like? What was that? We should still kill him because he's so deep in our back line. Yeah, and now we can go, but he'll probably be back by the time we get to the point. I think you need to really slow down your play. And this goes for everybody playing Overwatch. You know what? If you... Oh, no. Our Reinhardt is so dead. You should never charge, guys. If you're if you're playing Reinhardt, never charge like that. It's just... It's actually... It's so suicidal to charge in like that. I'll never understand why they do it. Like, we, we had good... We had an advantage there. Like, we killed their Reinhardt. Yeah, sure, he'd probably be back... You know, as the main fight breaks out. But we would have got position there to fight over the point. That guy just charges in. It makes no sense at all to me. Don't do that. Okay, so the main issue I'm seeing here is, yeah, okay, the awareness thing. You're only really going to pick that up through playing more Overwatch and watching your own replays back. What is this guy doing? Earth shatters again. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. What? we got to go, what the hell is this? Oh, no. What the? Look at this. They don't know he's there. They're like, here he comes. Dun, 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 dun. Hog realizes, uh, oh, and he just barriers. He's like, nope. And then he charges right through. And he's like, bye bye. Sigma's gone. <laughs> you can't make it up. Oh, yeah. The, 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 there's a tank mode Genji bastion in the back line because why not? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, just die. Just die, yeah. So we, we're doing a lot of things, but we're doing them too quick. But Hog, when you burn your hook, it's going to be frustrating because you're not going to have that available to use again, right? It's a very powerful cooldown. So, I don't know. I almost feel like I want you to just take a breath before you use it. Take a breath. Take a breath. Then use it, right? Take a breath. Then use it. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like that'll help you quite a lot, honestly. It sounds very simplistic, but I think it will. This is fine. This is fine. Just back off. Just back off. But there's no point feeding ourselves into the enemy. We shouldn't go this way because it's going to be super difficult to get away. Um, so I don't like this either. This is so bad. Right, you're gonna get told off. This oh god, there's a doom fist. Oh my lord. <laughs> uh oh. He's uh, you know what, let's let's let him punch you up. Boom! Oh he missed. Anyway, I don't like what you just did. Simply because it is just crazy. Like we're burning an ultimate against uh, like how you must be able to see how that is no benefit. <laughs> Why are we pausing it as Doomfist like yeeting himself in? There is no benefit to what you just did there with your ultimate usage because we've used it in a fight that makes no difference and that guy will be back before we even get anywhere close to the point. And all we've done is given them our ultimate. Like they, that Reinhardt has outplayed us because for some reason we've used our ult on him. And again, another bad hook. We just, the hook's too quick. Like think about Doomfist. We, Watch this segment through again. Think about what Doomfist... This is just horrible. But think about, about what Doomfist is going to do. As he jumps in, he's going to land in a certain area, isn't he? What can you do with your hook then? You can throw it at that area. It's the same with Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball goes for Pile Driver. It's predictable. You know where he's going to go. Watch this, right? We know where he's going, right? But instead, we try to hook him as he's bubbled at point-blank range. But we know where he is. We know he's going to land over there. And as he landed, we could have slapped him. I think he uppercutted it in, in all of that. Uh, I'm sure he did. Did he uppercut? Yeah. But like... 
You know where he's going to land. That's the moral of the story, right? So we shouldn't have just yeeted our hook at him straight away. We should have threw the hook as he landed, right? See, there we go. We got him. But obviously, our team are dead. So the problem here is we really do need to regroup. And we've got to be super careful. Okay, we shouldn't be firing into the bubble on the Reinhardt barrier. You can actually fire around the bubble so you don't hit it but still hit the barrier. But we should just stop firing there if, if we know we're going to hit the bubble. Because all we're doing is charging Zarya so she can spam right click at us. Which she is doing. And this guy sitting in the corner is absolutely trolling like crazy. I don't know what this is. I, I really don't. I can't believe this is a... Uh, I, I don't know what that guy is doing. Like that guy is actually feeding his brains out. He doesn't even have his ulti up or anything. And not that that makes a difference. Because Reinhardt's Earth Shadow is actually terrible. See again we've totally missed that. But you need to go and practice your hooks if you really want to play Hog. It's not something that can be coached as such because it's, it's like trying to coach aim. You can't really do that. But what you can do, and what I think is the best advice for you, is just slow down. Slow down when we're using this. Look at that Anna to the side. She's going to put you to sleep. Yeah, goodbye. Pretty frustrating, to be honest. That was uh, a, a, of a watch. But I do think you're a decent player, though, because you've got a good aim. Now... Aim is very difficult to train in Overwatch. It's probably one of the most difficult FPS games when it comes to aim because you, ha you, you, know, you have to look everywhere. You think about like, you know, people talk about this a lot. Victory. Think about like Counter-Strike. Think about um, Apex Legends. Think about, well, maybe Apex Legends people do come from different positions, but Counter-Strike, uh, Valorant, games like that. It's all coming from in front of you, right, most of the time. Or if it comes from behind you, you kind of know where it is. In Overwatch, it could be in the sky, rolling past you at supersonic speeds. It could be all over the place, right? You don't know where stuff's coming from. So you really have to react quick. And I think your aim's good. Um, it's just a case of trying to be um, less of like rushing in on the front line. I don't mind Hog when he flanks. He's pretty good. But when you were sort of going ahead of everybody and just running in, that was crazy. Um, you're hooking way too early and you're missing a lot of hooks. And I th you never really once played any kind of Hog sort of opportunity where if Reinhardt goes for a fire strike, we're going to throw in a hook, for example, to pull him out of the way. Didn't really see much of that. So a bit of a difficult one, this, to be honest. But Hog, I still think, is a pretty damn good hero right now. And if you guys are good at playing Hog or, you know, you, you want to get better, now's definitely a good time to play him. Just I feel like the game's gone into almost like disrepute quite a bit, where people are just like do whatever they like which just seems more so than normal anyway thank you guys for watching overanalyzed if you want to appear on this show then remember you can go to unitloss.com forward slash overanalyze and submit your clip away and we'll do our best to check it out and uh yeah thank you for watching guys and i'll catch you on the next one toodaloo